Hi guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. This is Sonetta. So I'm doing a collaboration with It's Lori's Life. I've collaborated with Lori before. I will have her link below. So definitely go check it out. She wanted to put together a face of the day using all items from the Dollar Tree, which I, I didn't have any items from the Dollar Tree. But no big deal. I went and picked some up. So my Dollar Tree usually never has any of the good stuff when I see Dollar Tree hauls, different hauls and stuff. My Dollar Tree usually never has anything good and the makeup is no exception. But let me show you guys what I did pick up and these are the items that I'm going to do my face with today. So I did get a liquid liner that I'm hoping I like. Liquid liner, the eyeshadows. They didn't have much by way of eyeshadows, but I did pick up this little six pack. Let me open it, show you the colors. So I'm gonna try and create a look using the colors out of that. And a lippy, it's called Mauve Glaze. I think it's just like a nude. Can't go wrong with that usually. And this pretty blush, I actually like the color of this blush. This is called Mauve something. And what else? Is that everything? Oh, I actually found a mascara. This is like a little trouble size mascara. And so that's it. They didn't have, um, they didn't have, you know, a foundation or primers or anything like that that I was able to use. Uh, for my skin tones, I'm just going to apply some primer on my face. And for my foundation, I'm going to just use some CC cream. So I'm going to go ahead and let that primer set up and do something real quick to my brows and I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and put on my um, CC cream and set that. And then I also just primed with the Hard Candy Primer, primed my lids. And this palette is all frost color so I need a color for my transition color and I'm gonna use that one right there from ColourPop it's like a reddish brown it's perfect transition color just kind of get that all blended all over my lid and in my crease Today I'm working and I'm not really doing much. I st I'll step out. I need to go to the post office and I need to go to the grocery store. So I don't need my face to last all day or my eye, my make eye makeup to last all day, which it probably still will, even though I didn't really set the primer. And out of these colors, I think I'll use like this one in the middle for a, a brow bone. This looks like it might be like a rose gold. I'm gonna try that. There's an olive green color. I'm gonna try that and see. It looks okay. I'm gonna squirt it. See if it'll if the color will pop a little more if I squirt it. Let me zoom out in just a little more. That's not bad. I actually really like that color. It's real similar to a color that I recently used. I've been really liking rose gold colors lately. I'm going to take a little bit of mixing medium. Because the shadows have shimmer in them. Shimmer shadows usually transfer. Just kind of lock those and lock it in place right there. I don't want it to transfer up to my lid, to my hood. That's not bad. So 
So that's not bad at all. I do need to add, you know, crease color. And like I said, because those are frost, I never use frost in my crease color. So I'm going to take the brown from this um, contour kit. And just put that in my crease. I feel like I lost some lit. Whoops. I feel like I lost a little bit of lead color. So I'm gonna add a little more. Actually it was just on that one that I felt like I lost lost a little bit. And because I didn't have, because I already have my foundation and I didn't put my tape down, which is fine. I only put my um, foundation down first because I'm not, I didn't have a foundation to show you guys from the dollar store. So now I have, oh, I have that liquid liner. What did I do with it? Oh, there we go. The liquid liner, the blush, and the mascara. I'm not good at putting on liquid liner at all. Oh, this thing is real thin. Oh, it's black though. Super black. But the brush is so thin. Let's see. Y'all, I am not good at this. <laughs> that looks good. I'm going to get up closer in this mirror so I can pull my eye back and kind of get up closer. And then I'll do this eye and I'll be back. Not bad. I lose a lot of lid space when I put eyeliner on top of my lids because my lid space isn't that... I don't have a lot of canvas to work with. So, that takes up some of the area. That's why I usually never do that on top of my lid. Let's see what this mascara talking about. The brush isn't... Gripping my lashes. At all. <laughs> so this mascara. I mean it's getting on there. But it just feels like it's just. Rolling across my lashes. As opposed to grabbing a hold of them. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like this LA Colors Mascara. But that's okay. I'm going to make it work for today. And then I didn't... I didn't, um, they had eyeliners at the Dollar Tree, but I wasn't, let me see if I can move my mirror up closer. I wasn't interested in their eyeliners. 
they were those kind, you know, just just a regular eyeliner. I, I didn't want one. This your typical two pack liner with the sharpener with it. They have those. Okay. Then finally, the oh the blush and the lipstick. I have high hopes for this blush. It looks real pretty in the pan. I'm not going to contour. Whoops. That was a little brush that came with it that fell. Ooh. It's really pigmented. I almost put too much. Is my lighting okay? I feel like it's too dark in here. Which I think. I feel like I need a little bit of contour. Just to balance out that, that blush. So that's what it's looking like. Okay, finally, let's see what the lipstick looks like. And it looks like that in the tube, which is nice. I'm gonna line it. Go ahead, put on a liner. This is just brown. It's called Brown by NYX. On some gloss that's the look I came up with you guys elf setting spray I think that's okay just for everyday wear I'm getting ready to finish um, getting ready and I'll come back a couple hours and show you what it looks like outside See if this blush is holding up. See if my eye look, you know, will stay intact. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, my makeup is holding up really, really nice. So for each product to be only a dollar, definitely not bad. So if nothing else, this collab was to just show you that you do not have to break the bank to uh, put together a really nice makeup look, everyday makeup looks, and Especially if you're a beginner, my suggestion would be to start off at the Dollar Tree, the Dollar General, and just build from there, okay? And build from there. All right, you guys, that's all I have. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later.